Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Friday the 13th of August. We begin, as always, with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Living God, teach us that however established our faith may be, however long ago we committed ourselves to the way of Christian discipleship, we are still getting to know you. Our understanding of your love, your purpose and your grace necessarily being incomplete. Teach us that our relationship with you must move forward to new discoveries, fresh horizons, if it is not to wither and die. And help us to remember that we cannot leave it all to you, that we must play our part if the relationship between us is to grow and to flourish. Draw us ever closer to you and give us a burning desire to know you better. Lord Jesus, fasten our thoughts on you so that today and every day, in this life or the next, home may truly be where the heart is. Gracious God, continue to work within us so that we may know and love you better and make our lives speak more truly of your saving and transforming love. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, Whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoiced greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength.
Psalm 38 Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Your arrows have pierced me and your hand has come down on me. Because of your wrath, there is no health in my body. There is no soundness in my bones because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Almighty God, save us in our dealings with you from becoming hooked on jargon or preoccupied with etiquette, from imagining that there is a prescribed way of approaching you, and if we fail to use the right words or adopt the correct manner, you will fail to hear or might even punish us for our presumption. Teach us that you welcome us just as we are, and you want us to approach you not in fear, but in confidence, as friend rather than foe, assured that you see beyond the words of our lips into our innermost thoughts. Help us then to pray spontaneously, gladly, honestly, and openly, sharing every aspect of life with you, in the knowledge that you delight to listen and to respond. Amen.